And what about other fingerboard materials? Have you ever used, like for example, Australian hardwoods? Like some people say Jarrah works. But... Yeah, I, I did. Um, um, I did build a fingerboard once out of Gigi. What's that? Oh, it's a real. It's hard, hard, <laughs> heavy stuff. Uh, it, the problem is, you know, getting pieces big enough and straight enough to actually use it. But it, yeah, look, I, I like ebony. It's, I, the density of ebony, um, you know, has a few things in its favour. You know, if you get back to velocity, energy travels faster through uh, denser materials and what it does through porous materials. Mm -hmm. Hence, I would never use rosewood on a fingerboard. Right. Don't like it. A lot of people do, though, don't they? They do. Factories? But, uh, yeah, a lot of them. Electrics? Well, uh, cheaper guitars they do mm. too because it's uh, it's much cheaper and easier to get hold of, I guess, than decent ebony. But right. uh, you know, porous materials, you just lose some, uh, half your energy in, in in the material itself before yeah. it gets to go anywhere. So makes sense. Once again, that's just a personal thing. I, I think you're right though, because all of the master grade guitars you see, the top end factory guitars, will have ebony. Yeah. Well, you know the. Early, you know, Martin, etc., and Gibson, and all those people in the early early stages. You know, they did a lot of research into finger different materials and stuff like that, and they always came up with ebony being the mm -hmm. best. So, great. But uh, yeah, so uh, we use ebony. We do. I think the consensus is that we use ebony. I think so.